What's up everyone? Recently I've been approved for memberships on YouTube, so now you can join my channel and support me through YouTube. We have different perk levels and you can just choose whatever you want. Any kind of support is appreciated. Hope you enjoy this video and stay safe. the record place? Um, it's Nick Diaz. Um, it's my understanding that uh, you are a UFC fighter, is that correct? Y yeah. And you fought in the UFC, I think it was what, 184, 183? Um, respectfully, I'm not going to answer the question. And the reason why? Uh, Fifth Amendment. Big news coming out of Vegas this week involving Nick Diaz and the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Nick Diaz banned five years for having marijuana metabolites in his system. It's so not right for him to be suspended five years for marijuana. It's not a performance enhancing drug. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it just shows favoritism. He swore under oath that he did not smoke marijuana in competition. I don't know all the facts, but that's his third offense. And let's all be honest here, Nick Diaz doesn't exactly play by the rules. Now, in competition, Competition is defined as 12 hours leading up to the fight and immediately after. It's a tough time to be a fighter, but most importantly, it is a very tough time to be Nick Diaz. So I'm pretty pissed off, you know what I mean? I think he's been villainized, I think he's been targeted. They've done everything they can to keep me from being all the way on top, where I should be. Unlike anabolic steroids, which are always banned, marijuana is only banned in competition. If one person tests for steroids that could actually really hurt a person, and the other person smokes a plant that makes them happy, and he gets suspended for five Five years, whereas the guy that could have hurt someone so much he could have died in there gets a slap on the wrist. It's not fair. That's another thing I'll tell you right now. I'm a, I know all the fighters, and they're all, all on steroids. All you motherfuckers are on steroids. I think they really should free Nick Diaz. So here's a petition for Nick Diaz. I mean, the guy's been suspended for five years. Yes, I mean, it. effectively been banned for life for pop. See, those people are nothing but a bunch of crooks. Listen, the commission approved a settlement, okay? This settlement had been in the works for months. And it's my understanding what we are approving under this motion would be the um, uh, proposed settlement agreement that has uh, been circulated for our review. Diaz had his punishment reduced from an 18-month suspension now, and 100 grand is the fine. The most important part, at least to me, was the fact that Nick Diaz acknowledged that it was an error, it was wrongful for him to invoke the Fifth Amendment. Nick Diaz, you hear what he said, man? He said, I don't want to hurt nobody, I want to party. <laughs> so he's done. Really? Yep. Good for him, man. You have very likely seen the last of Nick Diaz. The former strike force and WEC welterweight champion, one of the greatest of all time. He's done. F an amazing career. Nick Diaz said he just finished a 14 week training slash diet regimen. We are 100% coming back. We have our eyes on some of the big welterweight fights coming up, but put it in writing, get it out there to the world. Nick Diaz is back. We are fighting again and everyone's on notice.